Hello, everyone. Thank you for checking out this episode of Really Dicey. I'm here with James Hutt, the mayor of Balancetown for our Talzorian Games. Um, James, thank you so much for taking time to talk to us. Um, so before we begin, mayor of Balancetown, I, I, I assume that means you're the, the rule master, the, the lead designer for, um, uh, for Cyberpunk Red. Um, oh. is, is that close to what that game means? Game designer. Means? Game designer. I won't call myself a lead designer. <laughs> uh, but uh, but yeah, I hammer the rules till they shine. It's the reason why I wanted to talk to you um, uh, is because we've received a lot of questions from our Cyberpunk Red review, uh, mostly about Cyberpunk 2020. Older fans, they they really like the new book, and they want to know what can they bring over exactly from the old stuff. Um, mostly, the number one thing they ask about is about equipment. Um, at, the equipment list in Cyberpunk Red is very, in my opinion, very extensive. But I was quickly corrected by older fans where they said that, oh, no, 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 you should see the older books, but they had like books and books and books dedicated just to equipment. And so, uh, uh, let me, if I may ask, uh, what, what are your thoughts about that? Is there, from the older books, particularly the equipment stuff, uh, what can be transferred over? Can it be transferred over? So, um, Directly? No. Converted? Totally, of course. I mean, uh, this has always been a thing where you have a big, um, where you have a new uh, core book out and there's a whole lot of splat for the older material. And uh, it's very easy to connect these ideas like, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to move all this stuff forward. And yes, you can uh, is the short answer. Um, the medium sized answer i'll give you the long answer after the medium sized answer i'm trying to order these in size of answer um the medium sized answer is the tech rollability gives a great way to bring old content forward um and make it still balanced and um additionally if you want to directly port the guns in like a little a free a um a more regimented way uh or you want to do them in mass uh, just so you can figure out what's going on. Um, there is a free PDF we put out called Old Guns Never Die, which lets you convert the base characteristics of the guns forward. If you want to do anything wilder or crazier than that, some homebrewing might be the solution. And uh, indeed, the Tex Rollability Maker really gives um, this is sort of a baseline for homebrew. Um, tells you where to price it. Uh, stuff like that. I think that uh, it's a 100% good thing to move things forward from 2020 because we have all of those awesome books that, you know, got me excited about Cyberpunk originally. And there's stuff in there that I want to move forward. And, uh, of course, I want to, you know, write about it and put it in a future book, too. Uh, but uh, in the meantime, there's tons of room for conversion. And it is rather painless for 70 to 80 percent of the stuff the painful stuff is going to be moving forward like cyberware um, or new old programs because we changed the net running rules a whole lot in this edition but you're going to be able to get most of the gear most of the weapons at least an idea and to be honest moving forward the flavor of those weapons does 80 percent of the job hot tip um, if you buy Night City, the Night City source book for 2020, you can get a really good, flavorful background on how to run Night City on your table. And then you just drop a nuke inside of it and mention a nuke every once in a while and uh, sort of blend it together with the GMing section in red. And you can get a really good masterclass, really cheap. Okay, excellent. I will put the link to the uh, Old Guns PDF in the description. Um, I'm glad you mentioned my Night City. That was sort of my, my next question. Um, so would you say for the most part, with the exception of some of the recent things that have happened to Night City, that uh, the books are very um, uh, still as um, uh, viable, they're still uh, usable um, for, for gaming? I think they're really useful now as inspiration for homebrew into the new system direct port uh the system has changed a lot it has undergone a lot of modernization and um because of that i will say direct port is not going to work i don't want people thinking they can pick up a 2020 book take the weapon out and run it in their red game um, it will require a little legwork uh, but most of the time that makes it worth it anyways it'll make okay so netrunner um 
of the comments I've received, uh, there's been a lot of praise to um, the, the uh, Occupation uh, Netrunner and uh, Cyberpunk Red. Uh, people are happy that, I guess people have had issues with Cyberpunk 2020's version of Netrunner where it was a very difficult uh, character to play. Um, but they, but this version, is, from what I've read, is very playable. Was that something that you thought of um, when you read, I know you read, you wrote specifically those rules for Cyberpunk Red. Uh, was that something you would want to go for? Um, uh, what, were you, what were your thoughts in the, in the creative process behind that? The long answer is uh, Mike had this great idea about elevators uh, and how they would be easier to visualize on the game table. And he handed it to me and said, here, here's this great idea. Let's, let's see this work. And I took off with it. So the goal for the project for this design was for it to be playable at a table, uh, meaning not a pizza break uh, for everybody that's not the net runner. Um, and because of that, all of the sort of rules are designed to make it not a pizza break. It's got to be fast, but they also have to feel like they're doing a lot of stuff. That's what the net action system uh, sort of uh, tries to take in. Um, the net actions naturally increase as you level up interface, which is their rollability. And um, by the time you get like four or five net actions, there's a sneaky trick there that we've made you play with three net actions for a very long time. So even though you're doing more things, you're also way faster at playing because you've leveled into it. Now, if you, if you know your GM gives you a higher rollability, which we do not recommend. Um, at the start of the game, uh, it'll be much slower actually. Uh, but but because we've made you like learn it three, then you got four, it felt really cool. And um, you get five way later. Um, and then you get some really cool programs probably around there in the time, in the, in the economy of it. Uh, it runs really quick. Everything is designed to be sort of one shot or reoccurring. The places where it occurs on the time frame are meant to make it feel fast. Since everything in the net jumps to the top of the initiative queue, that makes it feel like it's happening in a different world, um, but also in the same world, because it's in the same initiative queue, right? There is a curious, like, um, speed feeling, even though it's technically happening in the same round, because it happens earlier, it feels faster. Um, which I was very happy how that turned out. The main changes are, Modern technologies have made it so that your turn can take a very short amount of time. And with Netrunner, it was how much stuff can I cram into that very short amount of time to make them feel like they're doing a lot without their turn taking two minutes. That's fine if, if there's a really tense moment going on in the net, but the normal stuff should be fast. Before uh, I ask you about uh, uh, future projects, is there anything about Cyberpunk Red that you want to share? Maybe something that you, you were hoping that someone will ask you about when it comes to the, the rules or anything like that, that, um, that you're, you, you, you want to share? Maybe something, some of the comments that you've seen that you want a chance to kind of respond to? Um, so I'm actually really happy with the response uh, that we've gotten. Um, our main, the main comment we're getting is, I want more. I want more stuff. And uh, that, I guess that probably segues into your next question. Black Chrome is coming. It's gonna be here. You're gonna love it. Also, I'm sorry, GMs. We're getting you the GM screen. Um, we're working as hard as we can, as fast as we can on it. Um, it is coming soon. I don't have times. <laughs> uh, it, but it is really, it's coming very, very shortly. Okay. Now, is there... 2020 is only around for how many more days? Oh, not, not soon enough. <laughs> no. So, that, that'll, we'll, 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 we'll figure out this 2020 thing. <laughs> um, was there, so what else, is there anything else about, uh, besides Supper Pump Red, is there anything else you're working on that you want to share for our, for our viewers? Yeah, I'm working on the uh, the Witcher uh, TRPG line as well. Uh, we've got new books coming out in that one. Book of Tales. Exciting new book of adventures for your Witcher TRPG game. Um, we've got uh, Tome of Chaos coming out. It's pretty cool. Magic. We've talked about it. In short. 
Uh, and uh, that's pretty much the horizon right now for uh, for Witcher. And uh, I already shouted out everything coming out for Cyberpunk that we're ready to talk about right now. And second uh, printing of the core book for Red. That's coming too. We know they're sold out. We're working on it. Excellent, excellent. Uh, I'm glad you brought that up because uh, I know someone in, co in the comment section would. <laughs> All right, so our viewers, um, thank you for watching. Uh, let us know what you think in the comments below. Um, let us know if you have any more questions. I'll, I'll see if we can set up something in the future. Um, and yeah, be safe out there. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you.